the internet, Eric here. Well, I am finally done after this discussing the Predator franchise until I get to the crossovers. Today, I'm going to discuss the recent one, I think it was 2018, The Predator. If I'm wrong on that date, just fucking sue me. And guess what? You know, it'll be in the title below, The Predator. Uh, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Plot, spoilers, the specific scenes, all that crap is discussed. Okay, this one. How do I discuss the plot of this one? Um, what's his name? Is it Boyd Holbrook is he works for the government, CIA, special ops, something like that. He's in, I think he's in Mexico. I don't remember. Basically, a predator is trying to flee another predator in space. Crash lands. Boyd finds it. Boyd, he's also the the, the villain in um Logan finds it, takes some of his equipment for evidence while his whole platoon is slaughtered, try, FedExes his, the equipment to his son, who is autistic. I'm not, I'm pointing that out because it is a major plot point. And then basically, it's, the rest of the movie is, you know, he's picked up by the government, sent to hang out with the loonies. I think they're called the loonies. Uh, guys with PTSD and stuff like that in the military. And while the, Two predators, or the the, I guess you would say that the bad predator, goes to get his equipment back. Olivia Munn is there because she we need a sexy scientist, um, and stuff happens. Okay, I like this one a lot, but it's also kind of like predators when it comes to videos like this because it's hard to kind of talk about what I really enjoy about this. Um, the cast, again, kind of like. Predators is just there for the most part. Uh, Boyd Holbrook, he's he's there. He's not Danny Glover. He's not Arnold. He's not Adrian Brody. He's there. I like him, but that's about it. Um, the other actors, I don't really know names. Thomas Jane is there. He is a guy who has Tourette's due to PTSD. He's he's a fun comic relief. We have um, not Jordan Peele, but was it Keegan Mike, Michael Keyes, the other guy from Key and Peele. Um, he's there, he's the one that's best buddies with Thomas Jane, he's always picking on them, but they also have a good camaraderie, good brotherhood, I like them a lot together. You have, um, what's his name, the guy that played Reek in, in Game of Thrones, he's a sniper, he's there, he's fine, I'd like to, I don't know if he's Mexican or Spanish or whatever, the religious guy, he has some fun moments, and then you have the lead, uh, Looney, I guess you would say, sorry, I'm just gonna call him the black guy, I don't know his name, but he's got a really good charisma. And I think it was Killian on the Nightwatch Zone uh, might have pointed out, because he doesn't really like Boyd Holbrook that much. He, I think he called him Johnny America. He said this, this the, the, I guess you would say the lead of the loonies. I, I don't want to keep calling him the black guy, but that's what he is. He should have been like the lead actor in this. And I agree because he's got the charisma. Holbrook, he's just there. This guy, he, he's sympathetic he's charismatic he's funny he's he knows his shit he can do he do everything so i liked him a lot so the loonies are, are are good olivia munn is there to look pretty that's it and attempt to shoot guns but she's got a good chemistry with the other guys so this cast works well together jake Busey shows up he plays um keys a scientist um and he is supposedly the son of keys from predator 2 which was played by his father gary Busey. so i think that's kind of cool um the head villain the head leader of the cia or whatever you would say alien task force i don't fucking know is a likable asshole and he's one of those guys that wants this information he's the one that actually finally names it a predator and um, that's a fun scene and he is willing to sacrifice anything and anyone to get what he wants and you believe it through this actor's performance. And when he finally gets it, it's a whole shit moment. Um, and then you got a couple actors like the guy, the, the girl who plays, I'm just going to call him Johnny America's wife. She's fine. Or ex-wife. Their son, I don't know autism. You know, I, I, I don't know people who are autistic. I don't know if this is co correctly, how would you say, portrayed or not. The kid's okay. He's fine. Um... He, his, he's not annoying with the way he acts, you know, because, again, I have no experience with anyone with autism, 
So I don't want to come off sounding like an asshole like that, but he's fine. You know, he he gets a couple good scenes of comeuppance with the, with his bullies. I like. Um, so the characters are either there or really good. So um, the action is fucking good. I love when they're breaking out of the facility. I love when the predator is trying to chase them or is. is the predator chasing them down or they're chasing the predator down as they're as the predator is like leaping on top of the bus and stuff like that that shit's great um the entire fucking uh final scene when they're on where they're literally fighting on top of a flying predator ship and i think that's great i like how they use how the use of um it having a, a a shield i guess you would say or a force field or something like that you know when that comes up if people don't get out of the way, whoosh, that's cool. Um, what else is there? There's a lot, you know, the, the, the firefight in the jungle when the predator, is, when the super predator, I guess you would say, this one, this fucking thing is like eight feet tall when it's taking out different members of the government and the loonies. That's great. We get, you know, gore. Gore is really good. We get, you know, we get people, we get heads blown up, stabbings, you know, blood gushes here and there. Um, lots of good gore. Now, the downside. Let's just say, this is a big spoiler. Let's just say the reason why the, I guess you'd say the bad predator or the rogue predator, I don't know how, either way. You find out why they are hunting humans. You officially find out why they're hunting humans. And I think that is interesting to a point. I'm not going to spoil it because I want some people to find out for their own and then when you find out who this super predator, I guess we'll call it, is after, and the reason why, I thought it was stupid as hell. I thought it was dumb. Didn't like it. Didn't care for it. But it didn't make me hate the movie. It made a lot of people hate the movie. I didn't. But I'm just like, it is pretty fucking lame. Um, there is a scene where the predator, super predator, what have you, fights the normal predator. And defeats that thing super fucking quick. Decisively, but I wish that fight was a little bit longer. Um, and then let's just talk about the predator dogs. These the predator dogs are different than the hunting dogs that were used in Predators. I do not like the look of them at all. They, they even have dreadlocks. They look really ridiculous. And then there's, there's a side story of... They have to save Johnny America's son from being hunted down. And um, they kill one of the dogs and the other dog gets shot in the head. And then that bullet to the brain makes it kind of stupid and follow the group around and be, literally be like a, you know, a lost puppy. That's dumb. The way it plays with the, the scene where it plays with the grenade is dumb. A lot of that is just the, the whole brain damaged predator dog thing is, is fucking stupid. I did not like that. Um, yeah. Or, oh, and don't give me oh, the fucking ending of this movie. Now, listen, I'm going to I'm gonna spoil the ending right here. So if you haven't seen it, they, they open up some type of pot, a gift from the good predator, I guess. You know, it, it was coming to Earth to tell us, show us how to stop the bad predators. And we get this pod, and the pod was going to open up, and a lot of people were hoping for Ripley. That would have been dumb. A lot of people were hoping for Dutch. Fucking 70-year-old Arnold Schwarzenegger isn't going to be able to do much. So what we get instead is some type of device that, when activated, turns into some type of predator killer suit. And it looks like out of something fucking Tony Stark would have created, complete with that type of CGI, and it just looks fucking bad. You know, would it be any worse than Dutch? No, but it's just, it's just fucking dumb. So, oh, overall, The Predator, is it as bad as people say it is? So I've heard literally people call it an abomination, an abortion, the worst movie they've ever seen. No, chill out. Is it great? No. In the long run, I got what I wanted out of this movie. You know, it might sound like a cop-out. I got a group of soldiers, you know, literally they're soldiers, that have great chemistry, keep me entertained, 
I really like them for the most part. Um, I have a lead actor who's okay. He's not bad. Um, I have great action scenes. I have a lot of fun when they're in the fucking jungle. Or in the woods, I guess you would say. I enjoy that a lot. We have some really good gore. We have a couple oh shit moments. One involving the, I guess you would say, lead... Not science, lead government guy. And then let's just say a, a cool oh, sh oh shit moment when the son takes care of the bullies. That's kind of neat. Um, so overall, The Predator, like Predators, is worth watching. It's worth giving it a go. If your expectations are super low, you might enjoy it. I've seen it a few times. I got the fucking Blu-ray. Um, and I enjoy it. Each time I watch it, I enjoy it. It's not great. It's not awful. It's there. It's fine. It kills 90 minutes. It's not It's not as bad as everyone says. But I'm not going to defend it enough or you hate it, I don't. Um, so I don't know what else to say other than give it a shot. If you liked Predators, give it a shot. You know, but that ending is fucking dumb. Um, anyways, like and subscribe. That's all I got to say. I don't know what else to do concerning these last two films. Uh, these videos were tough to, to do. Anyways, comment below. Tell me if you really enjoy this one. Tell me if you fucking hate it. Tell me what I'm right about, what I'm wrong about, whatever. Um, sorry these last two videos have been kind of lame, but there isn't much to talk about with those last two films. Um, coming up soon, Alien vs. Predator. One. And Requiem. Cheers. <laughs>